and we're back to CapCut. Let me show you a simple bar chart animation. Already animated the first bar here. So you can do that completely from scratch, but you can also import your own bar charts. It works the same way. But let me show you how I did it from scratch. I just have to search for a second color we can use. Yellow doesn't seem that good. Let me check green. There should be a green screen somewhere. We can pick that. So I download it, import it. Here's an animation. We don't want that. So I go to the start and then I use the freeze frame. So the entire image, the entire frame is green. And then I freeze that. I put it right here and I want to make the bar that I already have a little bit longer. Let me just check that. I need to go to speed for it and maybe I'll triple that. So instead of three, I'll make it around 10. Maybe position the keyframe here. And I'll make the text a little bit longer. All right, let's get back to our second bar. I want to have it start right here. I have to make it a little bit longer because it doesn't fill the entire frame. So I go to video basic scale and we're good. Afterwards, go to video mask and use the mirror. You want to rotate that. And I make it as big as your first bar. I've used the size of 75. So I know that I just have to type that in here. Just make sure that whatever you pick you remember that and then use it for all the bars that you want to create. In my case, 75 is fine. I'm at the start position, create a compound clip, right click, compound clip. Then I use the horizontal mask for it. I go down to the bottom. Once again, I'm at the start position and create an animation for position. Then I go forward, maybe up to here, create another keyframe for the position. And then I drag it up, let's say up to here. You can use the X and Y values to calculate the exact position if you want to have that. In my case, I just eyeball this and now add my text. For the first text, I've used a font size of 15. So I have to use the same here for the second one. Let me just say this is around, what could it be? Let's say 67 or something. And now I have to check for the scaling. I've used 49%, so I have to use that here as well. So that both text elements have the same size. Reposition that, and I'll be good with the second bar. Let me add a third one. It's the same process. So just to go over this once again, I have to find a good color. Let me try orange. Maybe this one right here. I download it, click on a plus sign to edit. I want to put it on top. Then use a freeze frame, delete the rest. And I have to scale it. It already fills the entire frame. I use the mirror, rotate it 90 degrees. I've used 75 for the size. Reposition it. Now right click, create a compound clip. Use the horizontal mask, rotate it. I want to start at the bottom, start the animation for position, go forward, second keyframe, and drag it up to the side that it needs to be. Let's just say that this is. I don't know, a little bit more than 70%, 75, something like this. Again, font size was 15 and scale was 49% for the text. I reposition it. And now the third bar is animated. As I said, you can also import your graphs and then create 
multiple copies for every bar, and then use the same process to animate them one by one. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.